Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief keeps you informed about what's happening in Annapolis, Anne Arundel County, and Maryland. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and, of course, local weather. Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Tuesday, October 20th, 2020. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. The Annapolis Police Department is investigating a strong-arm robbery that happened very early on Saturday morning along West Street. This is really kind of scary, but just before 2 a.m., police responded to the 900 block of Primrose Road for a reported robbery that had just occurred in that 200 block of West Street. The man stated he was walking down the street when he was approached by a car, forced into the car, beaten, and robbed of $200 in cash. He was eventually able to exit the vehicle and run from his attackers and contact the police. He did suffer minor injuries to his head and was transported to an area hospital for treatment and was released. And in a follow-up to the homicide this past weekend, the city of Annapolis is going to have a meeting tonight. Ward 2 Alderman Fred Payone is going to host a town hall meeting tonight at 7 p.m. at the First Baptist Church at 31 West Washington Street. It is in response to that shooting over the weekend, and it's expected that Mayor Gavin Buckley, Annapolis Police Chief Ed Jackson, the Caucus of African American Leaders, the Anne Arundel County NAACP, and the United Black Clergy will all be in attendance. The purpose of the session is to listen to community concerns and answer questions. It is open to the public. All are invited to attend. It is free. However, they do remind everybody that safe COVID practices will be in place. You do need to bring a mask and you need to practice physical distancing of at least six feet. They will have hand sanitizer available. And our county police have established a really cool new program. County youth ages 14 to 18 are being sought to sit on the county's first ever new Minority Youth Advisory Council. The purpose of this is to spark direct and intentional conversations between the students and law enforcement members. And each council meeting is going to begin with a police youth dialogue, allowing every participant to give voice to their feelings and concerns in a safe environment. And then it will be followed up by a town hall style forum to address any community concerns and needs. The officers are going to assist in creating youth-led advocacy projects based on identified needs. Youth are going to be encouraged to research and discuss topics of interest to them. And it sounds like a really great move to community policing. Anybody that is interested should apply by November 13th. You can go to aacounty.org slash police youth services. That's all one word. aacounty.org slash police youth services. Neach, who is a data miner, has ranked the Maryland best school districts for 2020 and 2021 school year. Each district received a letter grade based on academics, diversity, teachers, college prep, clubs and activities, health and safety, administration, sports, food, and resources and facilities. Once again, Howard County Public Schools came out up on top. Number two was Montgomery, followed by Worcester, Carroll, Frederick, Calvert, Harford, Queen Anne's, Washington, St. Mary's, Caroline, Baltimore County, Talbot County, and in number 14, Anne Arundel County. We came in number 14 out of 24. Not a real great showing for Anne Arundel County Public Schools. And finally, another unintended consequence of COVID. I swear this pandemic is like a game of whack-a-mole. As soon as you hit them all down, something else pops up. This time it is oysters and oyster farmers. Fun fact, more than 90% of oysters are consumed in restaurants or other hospitality venues because, let's face it, oysters are a pain in the neck to do at home and they can be a little bit dangerous if you don't know how to handle them. Because of the pandemic, many restaurants have shuttered and many customers have really kind of disappeared because they are staying at home. What that means is that the oyster market vanished overnight. Maryland's oyster season just got started at the beginning of this month. And right now, because of the glut of oysters, you're going to see lower prices that we've ever seen. Some of the oyster processing plants are not even going to be purchasing the oysters from the watermen. And some watermen may simply choose not to go out and harvest them because it's not worth their time when you factor in the maintenance, the fuel, paying the crew, and the work to do all that work. Unreal, yet another unintended consequence of COVID. Man, and I am ready for this to end. Well, we are at the end of the Daily News Brief for today. Please make sure you're checking out ionanapolis.net throughout the day because we do update it throughout the day. If you are someplace you can leave us a rating or a review, please do that. And make sure all your friends and family know about us and how to get a hold of us and how to subscribe. 
Other than that, you need to hang tight. We have George Young with your local DC MDVA weather forecast. He's standing by. But first, we've got a quick message from Rick Peters from Solar Energy Services. Hello, energy consumers. This is Rick Peters, president of Solar Energy Services. Have you been looking for ways to save money recently? Maybe you should consider solar energy for your home. Or are you waiting for the technology to get cheaper? If so, how long are you going to wait? Today's solar costs less than 20% of what it cost 10 years ago. But while solar prices have declined every year, so have the financial incentives. Bottom line, if you wait for cheaper solar, you're also waiting for lower incentives. Take my home, for example. My solar system was installed in 2010, and it's been paid off for almost five years, and I no longer have to buy any electricity for another 15 to 20 years. If I waited for cheaper solar, I'd still be paying an electric bill. At Solar Energy Services, we have thousands of satisfied customers who are sure glad they didn't wait. So what are you waiting for? Sunshine's a wasted. Call us today for a free solar design at 410-923-6090 or on the web at solarsaves.net. Sunshine, sunshine, nothing else can make me feel so fine. When you live near Annapolis, you know how fickle the weather can be. So you need a truly local forecast that's accurate and reliable. Forecast right here in Annapolis. DCMDVA weather is not just for today, but for the rest of the week and the weekend too. Now here's George Young of DCMDVA weather with the weather outlook for today and beyond. Hey everyone, this is George with DCMDVA Weather, and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Tuesday, October 20th. A very nice start to the work and school week yesterday, with a nice mix of sun and clouds along with temps in the low to mid-70s. And today through Friday, if not all the way through the weekend, should be equally as nice, if not a bit better. Though there might be a little drizzle or scattered light rain and showers for a brief period this morning before sunshine breaks out with highs today in the mid to upper 70s, followed by mid 70s to possibly low 80s in spots Wednesday and Thursday, before more low to mid 70s again Friday and Saturday, ahead of a cold front that will bring cooler temps in the low to mid 60s on Sunday. Okay, that's it for today. This is George Young of DCMD VA Weather. Make it a great day out there. Stay healthy and be safe. And be sure to get our free app on all of your devices by searching DC. MDVA Weather in the Apple or Google App Stores, and also follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and use our website each day at dcmdvaweather.com, so you can always stay weather-informed. Annapolis may be Maryland's state capital, but it's also the sailing capital of the world. And whether you call Naptown home or are just planning a visit, a cruise on the Annapolis Maritime Museum's newly restored skipjack, the Wilma Lee is a perfect opportunity to sit back, relax, and let the wind carry you across the water. Whether you're looking for front row seats to the Wednesday night sailing races, a guided sailing heritage tour, or an evening cruise to enjoy the extraordinary sunsets over the Chesapeake, a cruise aboard the historic Wilma Lee is the perfect way to connect the bay through both cultural and ecological lenses. The Annapolis Maritime Museum is making sure all safety protocols are undertaken, including social distancing and requiring masks while boarding. And the boat is open air, allowing plenty of space to socially distance. Tickets are available at at Ameritime.org. Private cruises are also available. Visit Ameritime.org for more information. You've been listening to the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues, this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis and Anne Arundel County. And don't forget about our website, IonAnnapolis.net, where you can find even more information. And make sure you follow us on Facebook at All Annapolis and on Twitter at Ion Annapolis. This Daily News Brief podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 6 a.m.